So this particular video isn't an episode in itself, it's actually intended to be paired with the previous episode, episode number 43, and since that episode was so long, this contains extra additional footage that we didn't include in it. So this bonus footage will essentially be two extra explores that we did trying to follow leads that we assumed were slopes to the surface. Now, due to the potential length of episode 43, we only showed one in that episode. There were actually a couple more. So just to give a brief overview before we get started, I'll haul out the archival map that we used before. Now we had hinted that this map may be incomplete due to mining going on years after this drawing was done. So just to illustrate what I meant in the previous episode when I said that not all details seem to be there, these particular leads that we're going to follow here in the bonus footage were significant extensions that went much further beyond the furthest rear wall of the mine. Those distinct set of tracks that all come together and head uphill go all the way to the back wall of the mine, but yet continue, which is not shown on the original map. And they don't just continue a little ways, they continue for many, many sets of pillars. They were definitely intriguing, and we were darn sure we wanted to see where these tracks ended up going. So without further ado, here is the bonus footage showing the remaining exploration of those cart-tracked uphill leads extending past the back wall of the Bell Island No. 5 mine. Enjoy! So there they are coming up from, that's a downhill slope into the distance. They come up to here, and then all the rails were here in this double rail tunnel again. They all come together and head up this way, uphill. So again, we want to see if we can make another crack at finding the slope that went to the surface. So we're going to head up over this pile, it's really low from the ceiling, and see where all of these uh, rails that converge head under the pile. Okay, here we are on top of the pile, heading over. It's a long one, probably 100 feet. But they do say that it ends up there and it uh, goes back down to being open again. So let's go up here and see. Okay, so the tunnel heads up that way still. The pile's actually, it, it does open up in here, but the pile actually continues so damn far that uh, probably 200, 250 feet of pile so far, but he's checking to see if it goes back down. Uh, it does open up here into another little area. And interestingly enough, there is a mud slop pile here that is formed that's of interest because he stepped in it and there's where his foot went down almost up to his knee. No, it went up over his ankle, almost over his rubber boot. But that is a hint that we're near the surface because that is soil that is uh, precipitated in through the groundwater, creating that nice pudding-like pure mud. Okay, a little bit of time elapsed here. He's on his way back there. You can see him coming. And he reports that uh, the pile just continues and continues until it goes plugged absolutely solid. And it does appear to be like a backfill type plug right to the ceiling. There was, no, was there logs and timbers built like no, on the last just, one? Just plugged? Like, like loader size Loader size fill that was dumped down, boulders other size of microwaves and stuff. Oh, so it looks very different than this? Yeah, like it goes, it goes up quite a piece there, like where I was standing would be like a lot higher than where we are now. And it looked like I was only like 10, 12 feet from the surface. That's okay. my guess. Okay. Makes sense because all the soil's down over here that's leached in. All right, let's go back down and continue, continue back into the areas where we came from. Let's go. Okay, we're following another uphill tunnel that seems to be a main one. Now this one doesn't have all the rails, but the, the ties are there in the mud. It's like the rails have disintegrated, but there are the big water pipes. Now they're split and so on, but. These are heading uphill and following this tunnel off into the distance. So we're going to see if this one takes us anywhere to the surface. A lot of mud down through here, so footprints. So people have been up here. 
There's that pipe. The tunnel goes to a pile and he's going to traverse it up there, but this one looks like a pure backfill. It's a whole different kind of rock. It's like fine gravel and shit. It's fogged up completely. It's what? My glasses just fogged up completely. <laughs> huh. It's very, very hot. And it's hot up there? Yeah. So that's where the, the pipe heads uphill and into the pile. So here's a little closer look, folks. Yeah, the tunnel just gets plugged to the ceiling. Like I'd say and that's all soil and stuff, right? Yep. But it does taper off. It looks like some kind of an entrance. Oh, no, it was an entrance. It gets right steep. Okay. So another attempt to at the surface. Gone. So back in the original section, onward we go. We want to get back to that uh, vertical uh, sloping, what we called the initial main haulage tunnel that has the rails in it, because we want to follow them up to the top and check the pile there as well. That'll be what, our second or third check. So this is our last uphill slope, and it goes to a pile. All the rails converge here and come together. So we're going to check this pile. Wow. Okay, the other side of the pile, you can see some of the orange arrows pointing wow. out back where we came. Listen to my voice. The tunnel continuing heads up this way though, and there is a crack up there, so we actually have to crawl more if we want to go further uphill. But we're going to take a little detour here off to the side and explore laterally. Oh, and just to show you, there's the rails right there, heading from one pile to the other, and uphill. So. We'll poke around in here. Here's another big mud pile, and this is what happens when you throw a rock into it. Blech. And it leaves a crater. That is quicksand pudding, folks. And that's all precipitated to lean against this wall on the downhill slope coming from up here we keep heading uphill because we want to see if we can break close to, as close to the surface as possible. Right. See if there's any more plugged um, slopes that came down. Okay, as we head uphill, we've come to more rails and pipes that head into a pile heading uphill. A lot of cable. Okay, yet over another pile and still heading uphill. Coming through. And we're back to more piping. And more rails heading uphill. So we will follow the rails, which go into yet another pile that almost goes to the ceiling. Okay, we've come to some kind of a shaft or stairs to the upward. It's a real narrow cut, but... Yeah. It goes way the fuck up there. It goes way the fuck up, he says. Let's see if I can... I'll get a view for the audience at home here. Okay, so here we are. There's like two stalls. A little man-size opening. It goes up into there. Why are we getting fog from it? Oh, yeah. It's fogging my lens. So something different about the air here, folks. There's been no fog in my lens through the entire trip so far, so... Humidity. Interesting. Okay, we've decided to give up on this one. It's a little too decrepit to go up in there in case the whole thing collapses down through this hole. So he's gonna go down. He's gone around to a pile down there to try instead. Okay, so he's coming back. That's sort of a dead end up in there. Bunch of backfill, not getting us anywhere higher, so... It is uh, not a surprise they took care of everything that went to the surface. So all of these tracks that go uphill eventually go to nothingness. We checked all instances of that from one end of the mine to the other that we could get to. So now we continue uh, to just check out and make sure we've covered this initial area and then we'll head out the front again. Mm -hmm.